The question we are being asked is, how much of a 30% solution would you need to make 50 milliliters of a 2% solution? So um, I drew a little diagram to help us kind of visualize what's going on. So here is our 30% solution, and what we don't know, what we want to find out is how much of this are we going to use. This is our unknown. Um, unfortunately, we also don't know how much of our diluent, what we're doing here, is we are diluting our 30% down to 2%. And so we, we have some unknown amount of a diluent that we're going to use. And in the end, it's going to be um, a 2% solution that's a grand total of 50 milliliters. So let's take a look firstly as a mathematician. What are what are two things that we know about it? Well, we know that if we call our solution S and we called our diluent D and we called our mixture M, that we are going to make a solution that has some amount of the S plus some amount of our diluent, which we don't know what it is, and that's going to give us 50 milliliters of the solution, right? That's M is equal to 50 here, right? And so if we were to look at this as a system of linear equations, then we need to take a look at, well, how much of my S solution is is the, uh, the percent of, of whatever? Well, it helps if we know what we're, we're diluting. So let's say we have a 30% dextrose. So we have our uh, stock is going to be 30% dextrose and we want to dilute it down to 2%. So that means, remember when we're talking about percents um, in, a, in a solution, it'll be the number of grams per 100 ml. So in a 30% dextrose solution, then I have um, 30 grams dextrose per 100 ml. But again, as a mathematician, I know that whatever, however much solution that I have, I have 0 0.3 of it is the, how would you say, is the, uh, is the dextrose, right? And here's where things get a little bit interesting. I am diluting down by using a diluent that doesn't have any dextrose in it, right? So there is absolutely no dextrose. I have 0 D in my diluent and I know that I'm going to mix it down to 0.02 that's percentage wise of my 50 milliliters and so here we have an interesting thing and this is going to lead us to how to look at these ongoing notice when I'm diluting I have absolutely no dextrose in my diluent so what happens to my uh, diluent it just goes away we don't care about it so really the most interesting part is the 30 percent solution to the 0 0.2 times 0 0.02 times 50 well in all cases 2 percent of 50 is 1 so how much solution do I need to use to dilute down to 2 percent I'll divide that by 0 0.3 divide that by 0 0.3 and I'll get that S is somewhere along the lines of, um, well, let's make that a, a proper, improper fraction. That would be something like 10 thirds or about 3.3 um, milliliters of my solution. That means that I would use 3.3 milliliters of the 30% solution plus 46.7 milliliters of the dextrose of, of the diluent so this would be 3.3 milliliters and I would add to that 46.7 milliliters of the diluent and that would give me the 50 milliliters of the diluted dextrose solution. So let's see if we can't generalize this into a, a formula that we can use for any um, diluting situation. In this case, we want to um, add 30%, that same 30% stock solution, so we got a 30% dextrose solution. And we want to add that, or we want to reduce that down to a 
let's say uh, 60 milliliters of a 5% solution, 60 milliliters of 5%. So remember that real important calculation for us was the 30% dextrose, and we called that 0 0.3 of the solution plus our 0% of the diluent, and that will be the 0.05% of the 60 milliliters, okay? Now remember that the diluent doesn't matter for our purposes, right? It goes away because it has absolutely no dextrose in it whatsoever. So what we really have here is a, a concentration here, and we'll call that C1, and a volume here, that's our volume, we'll call that V1, and all things considered, that is going to be equivalent to a secondary concentration here. That's a concentration we're going to call C2, and that'll be equivalent to our secondary volume here. We'll call that V2. Now that will give us how much of the solution we're going to use for the diluent. Here I want 60 milliliters. So if my 0.3s is equal to my, what's 0.05 of 60? Trusty calculator says that 0 0.05 times 60 is 3. Is 3. So when I divide that, I will get that I need to use 3 calculator divide 3 by 0 0.3 I will get 10 I'll need to use 10 milliliters I'll need to use 10 milliliters of my 30 percent solution plus 50 milliliters of my diluent and that will give me 60 milliliters of my 5% solution. Hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions about it.